Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have another Divi tutorial, and this one is related to the Divi menu. And I did a quick count here before I started the video, and I think this is number 37 just on the menu. So there's a couple hundred total, like we do this every week, but I think this is 37. Anyway, today we're going to talk about styling the active menu item, and that will be whether it's a top menu item or a sub menu item or the top menu of an active sub menu and vice versa and all of this a couple different scenarios let's get started all right so like i was saying there's a lot already check out this link here it takes you to the category for the menu so you'll see all 37 and counting there okay and this is for the menu module right now this tutorial uh, it's going to be pretty simple just adding a CSS class, a custom class, so that we can target a particular menu item. And then there's going to be a couple scenarios. You'll see here I have four different snippets. And you may need one, two, or three of those, but you'll never need four of them. <laughs> it's a little confusing. There's a couple scenarios, and I have a, a demo here. Basically, there's active in the menu, the main menu, and then active in the submenu. And then whether or not you want to style the active item in the main menu if the sub menu one is active different things like that okay as always if you are on youtube definitely go over to the blog post because that's where our snippets are located uh, more information there of course so it's always in a link in the description so here we go the first thing i do have is adding the class so we're using this custom class pa active menu item i copy that and again we're doing this because we want to target a particular menu module on our website. Otherwise, if we had multiple menu menus on our site, whether in the header or the footer or, or on the page sidebar, wherever, if we didn't add a custom class, we would be targeting everything. We don't want that. So we want to we want to choose which one we're targeting. So let's go ahead and just show you that real quick. So like I said, I have three set up here. We're gonna just add it to this first one just to kind of get started, right? So you open up the menu settings, the gear icon. Then you go to the advanced tab. And in this toggle at the top, CSS ID and classes, right there, CSS class, paste that there. So now we have that added in this menu item. <laughs> I already have the code. You have to excuse me because I was playing around here. <laughs> it won't do that for you until you add the actual snippet, but I already had the code. So just give me a minute. I'm going to get rid of the code. There's two places you can add your code, whether that is in the theme options, Divi theme options, or in your style.css file in a child theme. I am going to be working, I'm showing you live demo, so I'm going to be using a Chrome extension to add it, but um, you would not do that. I have a little bit of information here about the snippet and why I'm kind of giving you a disclaimer that you don't want to use all four of these right away. Instead, you want to look closely at these. See how I have a title here. So this first one's the most simple. Apply style to the active top level menu item. Pretty easy to understand. So if the active page happens to be a link, that is in the main menu at you know the top level, then we will apply a style to that active item. So I'm gonna copy that one and you can do this too and follow along. So again, this, I, I kind of cheated and labeled my, my page active. I call my page active because this page is in the menu. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is go here to my Chrome extension. It's called user CSS. When I paste this, you see that the active item becomes highlighted. And if that is all you need, you're done. The tutorial's over, kind of. I mean, you know, it was that simple because we're, we're targeting, in fact, here, let's, let's look at it. PA active menu item, we're targeting this menu module. Then we're saying ET menu nav, unordered list, list item, current menu item. That's the key right there. So list item 
is attached to current menu item with a period. It's all in one list item dot current menu item. That's saying, hey, I want to style the current menu item, meaning the active menu item. And we're styling that link and we're saying border bottom, two pixels thick, solid collar and red collar. Now you could do whatever you wanted. You could say, um, instead of border bottom, just border. You go all the way around. Maybe I wanted to say border top. Okay. Or left, right? You know what I mean? Um, I'm using that because it's kind of, I guess you could say a more typical thing that you would see border bottom, but I, I could say, um, let me just do one more, uh, background. I don't know, whatever. Right. And then the color, maybe white, you, you know, padding. Okay. So I'm giving you a base for all of these. I'm never intending to give you the final result. I'm giving you a base so that you can learn. You can take my tutorials and learn from them. Now let's look at another one. So the next one down, it says apply style to any active or normal top level item. If there is an active sub menu item, Whew, that's a mouthful. I am going to go back and put a class on each of these. I should have done that at the beginning. That way my demos are, you know, fully functioning here for various scenarios. All right, back in the tutorial here. So I was saying about the second one. We're, we're basically styling the top menu item, whether or not it's active or not. If there is an active sub menu item, copy that. Now let's see if we get it here on any of these. Ah see one that showed up it happens to be in a couple places but it had this first menu two here it just says normal menu item it's not an active menu item and yet it's highlighted you're like why would i be highlighting that well you may want to do that if you have an active item in the sub menu because you're drawing you're drawing attention to the fact that you're like on a like a child page of like that parent page if that makes sense now down here is another scenario where we have an active menu item under an active menu item. So my, my point there is here, you can actually see them both. The sub menu item is active either way. And again, we are just targeting that top menu item. We're not even targeting the active one in this snippet. Let's go back get another one. Apply the third one, apply style to active sub menu item. Only if the parent is also active. Now watch this. We're going to copy and paste that one. Again, you're not going to see it till I hover, but we're going to apply it to the sub menu item. Only if the parent is also active. So it's not going to apply here or here, but right here, it's not applying because the top one is not active. But here, remember there was an active sub menu. Therefore, the sub menu item is active and we could get rid of this other one. Watch this. See what it says? Apply style to active sub menu item only if the parent is also active. Therefore, this active one is still not showing because the top one is not. But here it is because that one is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> last one that I have here. There's probably more that I missed. In fact, let me know in the comments which ones I missed because I will update the post. I can't update the video, but I will update the post. Okay. Apply style to any active sub menu item. Well, that one's easy. Copy that. So now we're just like, doesn't matter about the whole parent thing. See? In fact, watch this. Now we're just applying the style to any active sub menu item. Right there, right there. So again, the top one's normal and that would probably, probably be what you want to do. I don't know for the, for the sub menu. I don't know, but see there again, if you wanted it on both, if you do happen to have it like that, then again, you could, you can grab this one, the third one, right? And then we're, we're getting, oh no, I'm sorry. The second one. Boy, I'm getting confused on these. 
So then you have them both. But yeah, you're going to have to play around with these. This can be very confusing if you're not, you know, looking closely. But I do have everything labeled, I mean, commented. I do feel like I'm missing one. Uh, and then at the bottom here in the tutorial, I'll just have, I just explain all that where it's like sometimes you, you need certain ones, but you probably don't need all four. In fact, I don't think you would ever need all four of these. Uh, but you may need two or three of them to so find the ones that you want and you need and change the styling I kind of mentioned that there, but I, I already mentioned that Obviously be changing. You don't need to have an, a red border if you don't want that, but um Yeah, that's it. That's that's the tutorial So what do y'all think? Um, give me a thumbs up if you like that and if you were not too confused <laughs> Again, just just focus on them and then again build on them. I want you to be building on what I am offering. If you look back at all my tutorials, several hundred now, you will notice that a lot of the times I am not just here, here's the answer. Boom. I mean, sometimes I do. But every single time, even if I do customize it, take it and own it kind of. Um, you know, a lot of especially a lot of the menu ones, there's so many variables and be creative and there's so many opportunities. Uh, I just hope that that's understood that I want you to be learning from these. So anyway, I hope you enjoy again, a lot of tutorials here on the menu. I do hope that that is something that you're enjoying because I know I see stuff about the menu being asked all the time. Hopefully you are remembering that when people ask that question, like in a Facebook group or something that you can refer them to our category or just our tutorials in general. All right. Well, I thank you for following along. Don't forget to check out what we have to offer on our site, like the membership. And hey, we're going to see you all in the next video.